Welcome to the celebrated nightly news of Calaveras County. Sorry about the little bit of a long intro. Yes, we had a little few technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Well, my my CPU cycles were high and I couldn't oh. get them down. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, was my computer too high for you? Yeah, right? we're, you know, anyway. I don't like to show my gut, you know, so I try to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> so, kidding. It's a little too much honesty for the folks there. They were It's not what they really wanted, teasing. right? Yeah, anyway. So welcome to a happy Tuesday evening. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. Day before frog, frogeria. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> it's now for the next four days is going to be... actually five days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right? All frogs, all the time. Yes. As a matter of fact, we stopped by there this evening to check our connection, and they were doing they were, they were practicing for the the Miss Calaveras pageant. The girls yep. were all in their pretty dresses, and they were, they were practicing. It was pretty pretty cool to see that. Yeah, it was. There was, what, 17 contestants? Yeah. 17 contestants. Ton. Yes. I mean, there is really just a ton. You still having problems over there? Maybe. Are we on cable or are we on... Yeah. We no, on we're, okay. we're on everything. All right. You may just have a little bit of an audio thing. Uh, for some reason, my... I keep... Well, let's just keep talking. All right. Okay. Today was Board of Supervisors Day. There which, was. Which John attended. So you can, you, you can tell me what happened today. I, I don't know. I wasn't there. I got to part of it. Um, basically, what they uh, what they did today, the big things on the agenda today were that the um, new fee schedules for the building department and also planning, it looks like they're very similar to what was proposed in March. The building ones got approved today. The ones for planning were continued until next week. Okay. So that way, um, that'll give them a little more time to to work on that a little bit. And... Kim likes it when I when you fiddle with your watch. I'm sure fiddle everybody stuff, enjoys yeah. it. What's John going to fiddle with next? <laughs> uh, so everything. So they talked about. They also talked about some sheriff funding, some staffing yep, for the jail. Staffing for the jail. Mm -hmm, that was, um, that the was study the study session. session this afternoon. We will have video of up that probably tomorrow evening. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow so evening. video okay. of that. Um, so. So they so that so they 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 got their bus. They were asking for a bus, right? And everything passed. So everything passed. Okay, so that's great. They were asking for a bus. What were some of the things that were on the agenda? And they were asking for a new bus. What else? Oh, I'm trying to be efficient. <laughs> Way down here at the bottom. Yes, yeah, yesterday when I put it up, the agenda. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Everything passed. Yeah, everything passed <laughs> except the um, except the they continued the portion on the. Okay, so if, if you go ahead and take take fees. take a look at the agenda, which is on the first page of our site somewhere, you'll see yeah. the agenda and everything passed on the agenda, right? Now, who won the county frog jump? The ca we had the annual county government frog jump the was government held yesterday jump. with the county employees. Yep, we have every year on the government lawn set on the center. Government lawn, correct? Government so center yes. lawn. So it's going to be all frogs all the time? Yes, and let me see. The winner of yesterday's frog jump was Adrienne Reimer from the assessor's office. She was jockeying Mean Green Hopping Machine with a distance of 9 feet 10 inches. Now, if you follow this in past years, the assessor's office, they take this seriously. Yes, they do. They have their own little special sauce uh, you know, to make the frogs jump quick. Yes, who knows what's in it, huh? Benadryl or something? I don't know. <laughs> that probably wouldn't help them. They'd be like, yeah. Yeah, but not me. I'd be wild yeah. if I had. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's got some bean juice. Bean juice, yes. Cough of coffee bean yes. juice. Maybe they're drinking yes. some bean juice. Um, so and I see, guess. The runner up by one quarter of an inch was Kelly Za Zanizer. Zanizer, yeah. And Legs from Public Works. That's right. And we have the complete results enclosed on the pinetree.net. Yep. Of that first, well, kind of, well, the second frog jump. The first one was the capital frog the jump. The capital last frog weekend, jump, and they week. had the kitty frog jump, and it's going to be all frog jumping. Yes. All the time. Yes, it is, all the time. Now, I have the schedule pulled up. Would you like me to talk about tomorrow's fair schedule? Yeah, well, let's, like, let's like do it, yeah. All right. Here tomorrow we go. Tomorrow is opening day of the fair. Mm -hmm. This is a tentative schedule. Tomorrow is Heritage Day. They'll have specials on hot dogs, root beer, carnival rides from 4 to 7 p.m. Now this shows that the saddle queen competition starts at one, but you said it starts at four p.m. Well, they gave them longer if they needed it. Okay. So I believe it's gonna. So they're they're starting at one or four. Four, I believe. 
So the gates open at one then? Mm -hmm. No, gates open at four. The gates open at four tomorrow. The Saddle Queen competition starts at four. Right. And buildings open in Town Square open, the carnival opens, all that opens at 4 p.m. Weigh-ins in the barn area are at 4 p.m. Farmer Earl and Moo Mania at Huck Finn's do lawn stage at 4 p.m. We need, probably should do some weigh-ins. We don't have that. Yeah. Meet the Artists at the Professional Arts Building at 5 p.m. 6 p.m. is market the Market Poultry Show at the Tower, Pavi Tower Pavilion. There you go. 8 p.m., the Miss Calaveras Scholarship Pageant. And I, I believe the carnival rides are they are having specials from 4 to 7 p.m., 25-set carnival rides. So we're going to have to send night, canvas, right? I mean, uh, correspondence everywhere. Should we send our our junior our correspondent kids? to the poultry <laughs> really show? Good. We don't have enough correspondence. We have one. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll tell them if they, uh, if they film the, the poultry show, then we'll feed them. Yeah, then we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll buy them dinner. We'll give them carnival yeah. rides. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow is actually our son's sixth birthday. So he, we are taking him to the fair for his birthday, right? Because because we're gonna be, that's yeah, what we're gonna be anyway. Yeah, since busy, we'll just let him sh go take pictures of the poultry show. <laughs> Grayson, our six-year-old. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, never mind. <sighs> okay, so that is the schedule right. for tomorrow. Gates open at four p.m. and the Miss Miss Saddle Queen competition also is at four p.m. Correct? Yeah. All right. And tomorrow is Heritage Day. Thursday. Is when they have the Buckaroo, it's Buckaroo Kids Day. Kids under 12 are free, sponsored by the Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital. Gates open at 8 a.m. When they have the Junior Horse Show in the arena at 8 a.m., the Swine, Sheep, and Poultry Show at the Livestock Barns The Swine, Sheep, and Poultry Show? Yes, and at 10 a.m. is the Kitties Parade in downtown sounds, Angels Camp. Sounds like a... 11 a.m., the buildings open, the Frog Jump Entry booths open in the main stage area, and at noon, the Carnival opens. And this is kind of a locals' day. Thursday yep. is known as the locals' day yep. because all the schools in Calaveras County have Thursday and Friday off for fair. Isn't that cool? Yes, that is very cool. So our kids have a three-day week this week. So it's kind of the thing to do on Thursdays. You, you, you take your kids to the parade, and then you all now, go to the fair afterwards. How many, or how many other counties let all the kids out? Not any that I know of. Is there any else? They don't think there's any others, are there? Well, maybe back east in some maybe, small yeah. towns or whatever. So, that is on Thursday. Winemaker of the Day at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Story time with Ann Mazzaferro and fun with Tom and Becky at the Mark Twain Stage Very Hall. Very nice. 2 p.m. <coughs> Farmer Earl and Moo Mania. Yes. 4 p.m. again on Thursday. Moo Mania? What, what, what's what's yes, Moo Mania? I don't know. Calaveras Idol Competition, Thursday evening at 7 p.m. at the Mark Twain Stage Hall, and at 7.30 p.m., the Extreme Ranch Rodeo, which is going to be held in the arena. California Outlaws Arena Stage, immediately following Rodeo. All right. So those are, for, those are the next two days of the fair schedule. You don't want to keep going? Why? We, we, we haven't. We'll talk about the other two days. Why, you want to keep going? You want me to keep going? Well, I don't know. All right, if you'd like me to. <laughs> no, we're going to try to broadcast as much of it as we yeah, can. Yeah, we are. We're going to do, tomorrow uh, night is our, we're going to, we're going to be broadcasting the Miss Calaveras pageant. And the Saddle Queens. So yes, we'll the just Saddle be Queens, both. Going crazy. Tomorrow evening. And then yeah. next evening, the rodeo, I'm sure the Calaveras Idol competition, right? Maybe. Maybe. And the Friday evening is what the it's the tough the truck, tough the tough truck. Now yeah. that one's a lot of fun. It is a, it's quite. I mean, they, those guys go out there. They're pretty serious about. Uh, here. What's the matter with your mouse? Mm -hmm. She's having mouse problems. Yeah. Speaking of fair and small animals, tough trucks. Friday night, seven thirty, and Saturday night. What's going on? Saturday night's oh, Mark it's Wills. Mark Wills on the main stage. Yes, yeah. country singer Mark Wills. Mm -hmm. Quite cute, quite handsome. That's all I noticed. <laughs> That's all that mattered. And Sunday are the International Frog Jump Grand Finals at 2.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. is the Destruction Derby in the arena. There you go. We will be there every day. There we go. We we'll bring you lots of fun videos. So if you can't make it, you can tune in to thepinetree.net to watch any of the main events that are going on during fair. Correct? Most lots of them. We, well, yeah. well, the big ones like the Destruction Derby, the Rodeo, yeah. yes, and obviously ones for copyright reasons. We won't be doing the Mark Wills one, or you know the no, no, the, no, 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 
no. that, but uh, yeah. yeah, for a lot of the local there, events, so you can watch so. watch us on. But you can't. We won't be on cable. We'll just be on the website, correct? Well, part of the time. So okay. on Friday night, we'll do our normal news slots that we yes, do. Yes, we're actually going to we'll be doing be the news live from the fair. We'll be from the fair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You betcha. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also I guess we should probably mention a little bit about water. Yes. Um, the If you're uh, Angel's Camp or passing through Angel's Camp, today was kind of an interesting day. As some of the restaurants were open, mm -hmm. like Taco Bell was open, some of the others. Um, they've made the changes to all the water yes, lines. they have. They were done by this morning. They were done by, by this, eight, morning. this morning. Everything is, all the samples are sent off. Mm -hmm. So um, they are actually looking at... Getting the results by tomorrow. By two thirty tomorrow afternoon. And they are supposed to let us know as soon as that, as soon as they're in. The city of Angels. As soon as they're in, they'll know. let us know. As soon as they're in, so we can post something to let you know when it's okay yeah. to drink bottle so. to drink the water. They're saying to continue using the bottled water for drinking, brushing teeth. Yeah, I know it's and John did and John used faucet water today. Well I know we it's probably stubborn. shouldn't, but we know that they're probably I'm just guessing, but I've heard those chlorine levels are probably fairly yeah, high right now. So. You said you could smell the bleach in the water. Huh? Yeah, so you know now for Angel's Camp, it's probably a really good time mm -hmm. if you have if you have uh, like a stain in a white shirt. To, to, to just do, do to the do laundry. See, I, I didn't do laundry. I didn't do dishes. See, in it. Yeah. I, I just took the day off. Today. I figured you, you know what? To add don't have any water. So I, I just I didn't do any laundry okay. or dishes. Today. Starbucks was closed. I so there were people. Pile of One thing you noticed if you were, came through Angels Camp today, there was lots of people walk, wandering around Angels just like, lost. Like, where's, where's my bean juice? <laughs> yes, <yeah, laughs> Starbucks was closed, but the coffee nook downtown yeah. was open. Yeah. So they had a line out the door. What are you gonna do without your bean juice? I don't know. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, <laughs> um, so it should be everything should be all up and running officially by tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon at two thirty. Yes. Okay. But and this John hasn't affected you at all if you're not on Angels Camp City Water. Exactly. If you're on CCWD Water, or exactly. all that stuff, it, you're just fine. Yes. Yeah. All and right. also, we had a what we thought at first was a vehicle collision which ended up being what actually happened with that it was kind of a <laughs> this confusing, is one of those ones now when you see them on the screen they're a little confusing in sometimes. the news cycle and this is kind of funny we'll just tell you there's <laughs> you know in the news business we probably all of the outlets probably follow a similar pattern yes, uh -huh. we know that my mother load and kvml do mm -hmm, over there yes. because um, we, we have all things follow, you do right at the same time <laughs> yeah we all follow the same pattern and because it was funny because uh when we called the CHP office, um, somebody from KVML had just called yes. at the same time because basically, what comes up on the screen? If you look at these, this one looked bad. Yeah, this, this, this what this, showed this, up on the yeah, screen was. Yeah, this is what it originally originally said. Yeah, a vehicle collision at Highway 26, just west of Ridge Road, and one of the initial ones said there was an overturn as well, and that got revised. Okay, I, think, I think that was another accident. Oh, a different one. Day, okay, yes. all right, and then this one says. But a vehicle accident, and there that was on a vehicle on fire with a person Still stuck inside. inside it. So we panicked. So we it's panicked. like okay, burning vehicle, somebody inside. That's news. That's news, we right? But we have to call, and make sure yeah. the person's okay. Yeah. So we called. And so we called, and we with what's his name? Jaime? Officer Castillo. Okay. And uh, and with the sheriff's department, right? Yes. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> so All right. With the sheriff's no, uh, department. from CHP. <laughs> and then we also correct me. And then we also called Cal Fire, and we spoke with uh, Peggy from over there, and say, okay, what's going on? Is and basically Cal Fire says, no, no, no. There was a spot fire by a car. It's already out. And what came out later is the guy had accidentally caught. You know, started a little fire there. So to alert people, he actually jammed a screwdriver in the horn of his car. So the horn was going off. People thought so there people was somebody thought there trapped in his car. Going, yeah. Let me out! Let me out! I'm burnt. But no, <laughs> nothing. No, nothing. No. To panic so over. actually, He's fine. this one was actually one of those things. That, nothing to see here. Move along. Yes, exactly. But, but it looked like something. What's going on in my mouth? But the way it came up on the screen is um, you can tell that every, all the news outlets in the area were like, Oh, uh -oh no, what's uh -oh, what what going on? What's going on? What's going on? on? So, anyway, <laughs> um, that was a little interesting. Yes. There was a non-injury collision today at Highway 12 and 49 near Pool Station Road. Okay. 
Um, that, that, that may have been the rollover that happened earlier. I, I'm not sure on that. Um, right. Help a child join Prevent Child Abuse Calaveras Council. We received this press release today from Tammy Bilestein of the Prevent Child Abuse Calaveras Council. Mm -hmm. Prevent, child, Prevent Child Abuse Calaveras Council is accepting applications for council member appointments. Anyone interested in representing a count, county agency, local business, faith community, civic organization, or community volunteer should, should consider joining the council members. Um, they will be appointed by the Calaveras Board of Supervisors and will serve two-year terms as, as advisors to the county for the child abuse prevention strategies and communi community education. Now, should we say, should really we say something to Larry Vile? Yes. Now, this is kind of funny. When we were talking to CHP, <laughs> and um, Larry, if you're not familiar, is the is the behind the camera man for all of the what's she up to what's now? What's she up to now with Tommy Bilestein? Yes. yes, he's a great and videographer. He's, and he really is. He is quite a talent. We want to say thank you. We this just got a video funny. from him today. Yes. Yeah. We, and uh, thank you. We'll have that up later. But the funny thing was, is we were on with CHP today talking yes. about the accident where they had the ostensibly <laughs> burning person in the car that mm -hmm. wasn't. Yeah. <coughs> and we're glad of that. But anyway. Um, and they, they said, um, hold on just a second, John. Somebody wants to speak with you. I was like, huh, what? Um, anyway, so one of the uh, the lieutenants over there that, uh, from the San Andreas office, goes, now, now, and he says, John, we watch everything you put up on the site. Thank you very much. But also he wanted to tell us that uh, Larry, when he was taking some great camera shots, they were really good shots. Of, of the motorcycle bike ride, the 100-mile yes. bike ride right. that Baca did. Right, but... The officer could tell that part of those shots were taken <laughs> across a double yellow, <laughs> and were so he's joking. Or no, he was serious. No, he was serious because he wanted to make it so that um, that we weren't encouraging unsafe oh, okay, driving okay, practices. All right. So now he said they were great, and this and he's also a I believe he's also a motorcyclist as okay. well. So, but anyway, so just wanted to pass this along to. Mr. He Vial, said they were great they shots. They were great shots. Were a double, a double However, yellow line. Um, <laughs> or Larry was, or the motorcycles were? Larry was, I oh, believe. Oh, to take those we pictures. Well, darn it, we want to get those pictures. <laughs> promoting unsafe um, camera angles, right? So <laughs> Okay. We, were we promoting apologize. Unsafe camera angles. So, there. It, okay. So, anyway, back to child abuse. If you're right. interested in becoming a member, you can go to the. Calaveras County Child Abuse website, which is PCA Prevent Child Prevent. Abuse. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. PCA Calaveras org, and you can download a membership application from there. If you're interested, I think that's something you should do. What do you think? <laughs> like you have time. My thumb's went off my mouse, John. So it's really slow. She's having mouse problems. Yes, I am. I mean, mouse problems. Do we have that video of that gopher? Or not? The gopher video. Do we have that? Let's see here. We had the people cutest. are like going, man. There's some real no, noise. No, either you know what? Gophers. We had the cutest little gopher in our across the street from our house the other yesterday, and our future videographer Granger Hamilton, which is our ten year old son, took full video of the. But you know what? You can probably hear me yelling in the background. I prefer not to go too close. <laughs> there it's he not, is. Can you see him? It's not anything they haven't heard before. <laughs> what? They've heard it all before. Well, I used to want him to get bit by the gopher. You didn't? No. You, they can't see it. It's too small, but there okay. was a gopher right I, there. We will have this gopher up on the site later. He's very cute. He looks like a baby. He's got those little teeth. And you, you said a gopher came after you one time when you were Of course, I was also tormenting him when you I was so, a child, so that's too. that's Grace is I was poking one with a stick and everything else, and he actually bit the end of the stick, and then... And then, then what happened? Tell me. When I dropped him, then he came running after me. <laughs> and I thought they were... Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, no, anyway. I mean, no. All right. Well, there is he that is. enough He's for cute. the... Is that we'll, enough we'll, for the... We'll, we'll show it later with some gopher music. Gopher music? music? Yeah, a <laughs> Groundhog Day music or something. Yeah, what is gopher or, uh, music? Or Caddyshack music. Uh, I thought that'd be okay. perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. CCWD is having a joint water committee meeting tomorrow. And I apologize. <laughs> we're kind of wandering all over the place, but we're kind of in pre... Pre-fair mode. Pre-fair mode because it's... Uh, yes. That's okay. 
Yeah, if we want because this will probably be the last in studio thing you see for the next till next <laughs> maybe Monday. forever. Maybe till next <laughs> month. Well, this we're just going to stay at Frogtown. <laughs> just move to Frogtown. I don't know. CCWD has a joint I'm water committee meeting. Frogtown. <laughs> we can become Cardies. Um, has a joint water committee meeting tomorrow, we Wednesday, May fourteenth at nine a.m. at the CCWD boardroom. Some of the agenda items being discussed will be the general plan update. Yeah. Possible water element and use. County discussion regarding process, protocol, and developer interface for large development projects. And we have the full agenda for your viewing pleasure on the pinetree.net. Like to take a peek at that. <laughs> if you're interested in that. Today was the COG workshop. Did you make it out to that? I didn't make it to the COG workshop. Today was the COG workshop, and they were discussing transportation in Calaveras County, the needs for more transportation for the elderly, disabled, etc. Um, that was held at 1.30 this afternoon. And so I, what are you, you going to talk about? Anything? You're just going to sit me? over there. I'm, I'm pretty much a potted plant tonight. That's okay, it. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. I, I'm, I'm pretty worthless. I can tell you you have four minutes left. Oh, that's all? Do okay. we need to talk about weather? Let me see here. I'll go over here and load weather. Something I wanted to say that was kind of cool. I'm going to bring this up again. The, few, the former Miss... Calaveras Princess, the one that's doing the African yes. medical outreach. Miss Seiler. Yes, they have asked that, that we top post this since it has been cl coming close to fair time, and so we've right. been trying to help this gal out. She's trying to re raise thirty five hundred dollars mm -hmm. to go to Africa for 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 actual medical outreach, and she's already raised a thousand dollars for just from her article on on our website. Wow! So, can you believe that? So we actually so we actually do some people some good. I we guess. actually helped with something. Yes. Wow. Something kind of fun we have on the pinetree.net also, if you'd like to take, take a look at it, is the 1942 Calaveras County Fair and Frog Jumping Jubilee. We actually spoke with Supervisor Tryon earlier this evening, and his, his they, they, they went over to the in-laws and were watching it, right? They watched it tonight. Yes, they watched it off on our site. So it's kind of yeah. cool. It's a, it's a vintage, vintage video by Ed Lawson of the 1942 Calaveras County Fair Frog Jump. And Supervisor Tryon didn't say it, but he's probably in it. Yeah, he probably yeah, yeah. Well, there's probably one little kids in the band, you know. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's probably okay. just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also, we better mention a little bit yeah, on we weather. Talk about the the KCRA being here. Last oh, that's time. right. Yeah. Um, one it's of the which is hot. kind of fun. It's nothing really to talk about weather. It's hot. Huh? <laughs> it's hot for the next six months. <laughs> now, a little bit on the um, angels camp. A little more on the angels camp water thing was that last night when we drove past Mike's Pizza. Yes. I was and John John has the nose for news. He's he's in the perfect line of business. Why do you say that? Because you always know. It's like why would you even stop? Well, because they had the satellite truck yes. and it was unmarked. So we go cruising over there and it was uh, KCR reporter Richard Sharp and cameraman Tom O'Hare. And they had their brand new mm -hmm. HD Satellite truck. Okay. Out there, it was on its maiden voyage. This truck. It, this was its yes. first assignment, and its first assignment was to cover non-potable water in Angels yes. Camp. Yes, that Very was cool. it. But what they did was they went live at six thirty, so and they had, and then they were going live again at eleven. Yeah. So they had to sit there from six thirty to eleven. They were just sitting there waiting, right? Yeah. To go live again at eleven. See, we yes. just go live. We can go live anywhere. We don't need a big news truck. <laughs> Yeah, but we're obviously <laughs> not an great. HD either, so, you know. Uh, but the other interesting thing was, is <laughs> while they had the truck parked there, is if you saw our size, that's when we ran up and actually shot the video of where they actually were doing yeah, the work. because John knew. John, John could smell it. I, I know it's around yeah, here somewhere. Yeah, Murphy's Grave yes. where they're doing the cutting yes. line over. Yes. And I almost went back. And told them, and you know, my no, wife. No, I said, no, you don't tell, you don't me tell them where that no, goes. No, we want to be the ones talking about it. Right. So even if KCRA was in town, we out covered. Yes, we did. So <laughs> if uh, Richard Sharp, if they watch this from KCRA, sorry, we. I doubt they're watching it. I doubt it either. They, they probably be. have much better things to <laughs> yes. do than uh, like prep, prepping for their own news right now. It's ten thirty. Yeah, but anyway, so. We knew where to get the scoop was. Yes, we did. We yeah, did. We, so we they knew were, the area. <laughs> they were actually broadcasting from Mike's Pizza, though. Yes. And we're out of time. All right. We will see you tomorrow evening we sat from around, the fair. We sat around patting ourselves on the back so much. <laughs> Good night. Good night.